Whale Trust is a nonprofit organization based in Maui, Hawaii. Their work supports field research on whales and the marine environment. They also have a commitment to sharing their research with the public. This is Switzer Network News. Most of our research is focusing on breeding populations of humpback whales. Um, we do do research in various locations around the world, but one of our main projects is in Hawaii. And the reason for that is that Hawaii is really one of the most incredible biological natural laboratories in the world to study whales. The waters are warm, they're clear, they're relatively calm. The West Maui Mountains in Hawaii provide a block from the prevailing trade winds, which allow us to work in these calm, protected, warm waters and allow us to stay with whales for extended periods of time, something you just simply can't do in other places. Some of my work has taken me to Africa, for example, and out there we spend 30 minutes just getting out to where the whales are. Oftentimes the swells are 10 to 15 feet and you're in 25 to 30 knots of wind. <laughs> it makes it kind of hard to study whales and to stay with them over extended periods of time. In Hawaii, we can see the whales before we even leave the harbor. So you have this incredible combination of physiological characteristics that makes it a great place to study whales. But you also have over 50% of the North Pacific population coming there each winter. So you have also a large aggregation of humpbacks coming for the purposes of breeding and calving. We have a lot to learn about whales. Some of the very basic things that are critical for their survival, critical for successful reproduction, we still don't know. For instance, humpbacks are coming to Hawaii each year to mate and to calve, and yet we've never seen them give birth, and we've never seen them mate. Another thing that we don't know is it seems that there's a lot of the females that are not on the breeding grounds at the same time as the males are so we don't know where the females are going during the winter breeding season so there's a lot of things about whales that are still a mystery to us. The status of humpbacks in the North Pacific population um, right now, there's some good news. It looks like they're recovering to about 18 to 20,000 animals. When I first started studying whales about 18 or 20 years ago, we thought the population was around a couple thousand. So we have seen a significant increase in the last probably 40, well, they became protected in 1966. So over the last 44 years, we've seen the population begin to rebound and recover, which is really good news. The challenges that we are faced with right now actually look at the cumulative effects of a number of different things. Humpbacks right now are threatened because they get entangled in fishing gear. Quite often, there are ship strikes. But we're also very concerned about things like climate change. Most of the humpbacks that are coming to Hawaii are migrating from southeast Alaska, so that's about a 5,000 mile journey. But there are some humpbacks that they have found that are actually migrating as much as 10,000 miles. So they're one of the species that are making the longest migrations of any of the migratory animals that we know. They're migrating across the entire Pacific Ocean. So in order to really understand whales, we need to better understand the ocean. We need to understand the things that are important for their recovery, the, important th the things that are important for their successful reproduction. So in my view, it's really important that we work in an interdisciplinary way with a lot of different scientists from around different areas so that we're not just specializing in the breeding patterns. Without proper food, without good food resources, the whales aren't going to be able to reproduce successfully. So we need to understand the effects of climate change and how that's going to impact food resources, how that's going to impact possibly weather patterns that may change or shift their migratory patterns. We know in Hawaii that we have a healthy population, 50 percent of the North Pacific population are coming there each year. Um, but what are happening in some of these smaller areas? Where, what about the whales that are going to Asia? You know, are those actually subpopulations of whales? Um, those are very critical things for us to understand as we go forward and looking at how we're going to manage recovered population of um, humpback whales. There's a couple of things that have impacted me. One is being able to spend my life outdoors on the ocean with these incredible animals. I mean, they teach me something every day about myself. It's not me just learning about them. It's what they're teaching me. One thing they've taught me is patience, <laughs> um, an incredible amount of patience. You know, it's not about us imposing what we think. It's about them sharing with us, giving us little glimpses into their lives and what's important. And the other thing is sharing that information with people, seeing that aha moment, seeing somebody see a whale, experience it, hear it for the first time, taking someone out that's never never been in a close proximity of a, of a humpback whale and to drop the hydrophone, which is an underwater microphone, and allow them to hear those songs and see that look of discovery, that look of awe, you know, is something that really inspires me and keeps me going. Whale Trust is, is a nonprofit organization, so there's a number of ways that you can get involved. We are based in Hawaii, but we do have a website that tells you a lot about our ongoing research. You can get involved certainly through financial support. That's a huge <laughs> it's a huge help for us in doing the research and education programs that we're trying to do. But there's also a lot of other things that you can do from getting involved, coming to Hawaii, experiencing whales yourself. We have a number of different events. 
that we hold not only in Hawaii but around the country. This year we're going to have a number of different things. We have two books that are coming out this year so we'll have a number of different places that we'll be and sharing what we've learned about whales and some of the stories that we have in our adventures and journeys with them.